Zine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time I've got another bottle of beer from the fantastic Buxton Brewery in Derbyshire. It's a bottle of their Rain Shadow with 11.8% ABV Imperial Stout. Fantastic looking bottle of beer. Look at that. You know, I don't think you can fully get the impression of the, um, on the camera. It's got this kind of like lightning strikes through it and stuff. That kind of black on silver. Very cool looking bottle of beer. Anyway, really excited about trying this. Books going to produce some fantastic stouts and I've got high expectations for this. So let's get this into the glass. So pouring, well as you stout dark as some people say. I mean black as night, a really nice kind of darkish brown head on it. It's a beautiful looking bottle of beer I have to say. But yeah, fantastic looking bottle of um, glass of beer. So let's check out the aroma. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big dark chocolate, loads of kind of espresso. Oh yeah, lovely kind of like rich velvet, extra, uh, velvety kind of vanilla extract. Oh yeah, walnuts. Yeah, maybe kind of like kind of chanterelle mushrooms. Oh yeah, there's an earthiness to it, but a rich kind of sugary, velvety kind of quality to it. Oh, that smells incredible. That smells fantastic. <laughs> Let's dive in. Cheers. <sighs> it's top end of medium, bottom side of full. It's not the biggest kind of bodied Imperial Stout. For 11.8, I mean, it's not as full bodies as you might expect. There's a softness to it, there's a creaminess to it. There's a, there's a tang, there's a, there's a vitality in that flavour. Kind of bitterness of dark malt. There's a, there's a tang of kind of like orange peel to, to a certain degree. Kind of the, the pithiness and the dryness of that. Mm, that's good though. Mmm. Earthy, rich. Once again, I'm gonna say the kind of like um, the earthiness of kind of mushrooms. Yeah, there's like a there's a there's a tanginess around it. Maybe I can't, it's hard to place. It's earthy and tangy. It's not chocolate and coffee and that kind of thing. It's not licorice. It's something completely different. Slightly smoky. Definitely earthy. Mmm. Kind of stump me a little bit, is that? Yeah, it's, it's, there's a sharp, kind of like tang to it. Kind of maybe a bit more like um, molasses and. Um, there's a booziness to it, definitely. You're getting that warmth at the back of the throat. Yeah, molasses. Definitely lots of kind of like dried fruit. Kind of um, Christmas cake, that kind of thing. But then something that's totally different. It's like it's tangy. The tangy. Bitter tang. It's nice. It's a really lovely, lovely beer. So apparently this is a brewing heavyweight stout crammed with intense deep roast speciality malts. Recipe eight months in the making. Multitude, uh, multiple edits before we're happy to proceed. In the end we was delighted with this brew. It is, it's fantastic. Proper good. And it looks incredible. It's really different. I mean, which is a really interesting thing. And for somebody like me who sits in front of a camera and gives out opinions, about beer. Um, sometimes it's a bit boring and a bit predictable that it's like coffee, chocolate, blah blah blah. It's the same old um, 
taste descriptors, but this is different and it's throwing me a little bit. It's really good, but it's just got this kind of like twang, this tang to it. It just can't get my head round. Yeah, kind okay, of nutty walnuts. Mmm, camp coffee, molasses, that kind of thing. Anyway, could go on forever, but let's not. <laughs> so that's a bottle of Buxton's Rain Shadow, a beautiful looking, look at that. Turn your HD on for this mother. Look at a beautiful bottle of beer that is. Imperial Stout, 11.8% ABV. Drinks relatively less than that, I'd say. It's really, it's quite easy drinking, but it does get you that nice warming alcohol. But beautifully done. Another stonking year for uh, for Buxton. One of the jewels in the crown, I'd say that one. Really nicely done. I'm Rob from Hobbsing.com. See you next time. Cheers.